Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in for another run. I don't know what streak we're on previously, but I did a, sh 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 a character showcase video in which I showcased the Hollow. So our streak has been RIP'd from that. But anyways, let's uh, get up the randomizer, see who just might, who me, blah, 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 blah. we might just get. And we got Tainted Mastema again. We did Tainted Mastema recently, but honestly, oh, this was this regular Mastema. It was. Now. That's a mistake, but, 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 we started with Lemmageddon, so, <laughs> I'm playing as this character now, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, ooh, extra revision off the bat as well, yeah, okay, so accidentally did normal mass demo here, which I, I think mass, normal mass demo is easier, definitely, uh, than tainted, just because you're not dealing with broken hearts, but this guy also does have some weird um, sort of disadvantages with everything being devil deals. It makes it a little harder to build a run unless you have really good HP management, which I am known for not having. Um, but anyways, Lemmageddon from the Eden's Blessing on our last run is incredible. And you know what? I am in just an unprecedented good mood today. And it's basically down to just one thing. Do not destroy my... Don't destroy my wisp. Ah. Oh, also, um, we seem to have a leftover um, bit of UI. I'm not quite sure why. From the hollow. You can see that our fly count is still there. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I don't think it's functional. So we're just going to have an extra element of UI that exists for no reason. What? Uh, no. That was a bit bullshit. And you you can admit it. I really need to, to let the devs know about these enemies. Oh my god, go away. They really need to be fixed. <laughs> Those enemies are way too strong for the flaw they appear on. Anyways, let's go check what our first Devil Deal item is. Did we even check it already? No, we didn't. <laughs> it's so funny, game. <laughs> there is not a there, there, there is not a single version of of this Earth in which I would ever take Little Portal for a heart. I I honestly wouldn't even take it if it cost one penny because I wouldn't take it if it was free. It's a garbage item for garbage people. It's terrible. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a bit of spice going on here. Oh, Hey, that's pretty cool. Um, we get Ace of Hearts and two of spades. We'll definitely pop the two of spades. We can take the Ace of Hearts. And we'll pop on again. Remember, let me get in no longer abides by the room type that you're in. But instead, it does have a 25% chance to favor the room that you're in. Did not mean to do that, but we got a soul heart out of it. Um, so... As you saw here, we got Voodoo Head, which is not a secret room item. Sometimes you're going to get secret room items, sometimes you're not. It does take away some of the strategy of Lemmageddon, but it also does make it not obscenely overpowered like it used to be. I've seen a lot of complaints, like, okay, so um, I had an interview recently with Kilburn and, um, well, with Kilburn, Alexa, and BD1P, which is part of our podcast. And I was speaking to, to Kill, and we were kind of going through some of, the, some of the trash talk people put on him after the updates, because... He finds it funny and we found it funny. Some of the, no, I don't mean as in like genuine criticisms, but some of the just absurd things people say. And one of the things I saw a lot is, oh my God, I can't believe they nerfed Lemmageddon. It's like, what? Are you mad? Every single run that you got Lemmageddon or every single run as Tainted Bethany was a piece of piss. It was like the easiest thing on the planet because you could just stomp absolutely everything because you could just get secret room items or devil deal items all the time. So, I actually think, while it does take away some of the tactics of the item, it makes it much more balanced, and I think it leads to more enjoyable runs, because you, you, you can't influence what you're going to get as much, which means you could get some bad items, you could get some wacky items, and I like that. Especially when you're playing modded, that's even more enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, we're playing as Mastema here, so got some good stuff going on. I'm glad that the, um, I was a little worried, because obviously we have 34 base characters in the randomizer, and only only six modded characters. I was a little worried that they were going to show up very sparingly, but so far they've actually been showing up a lot, which could mean we go for a dry spell where we don't get any modded characters at all. And I know people are probably going to ask, am I going to add more characters, more modded characters to the randomizer? At the minute, no. But the, there is a few that I have on my mind. I want to keep it kind of simple and I want to I want to sort of only add the characters I feel are the most sort of vanilla-esque and balanced. Um, and I feel like at the minute, um, Andromeda and t obviously Tainted Version, Mastema Tainted Version, and um, Job Tainted Version are the, are the sort of most like 
in the vanilla vein and still very balanced uh, cards that are currently out there. So let's take the box. Box is actually a pretty good thing to get right off the bat. Mainly because you're going to get um, yourself a nice trinket, and we indeed did. Uh, I don't know where we're going on this run here. We're going to the lamb, so we'll definitely take this path straight off the bat here. Do you know what? We have enough keys and stuff. I'm going to go and check my shop real quick. Uh, I'm hoping we can keep our x-ray vision for another floor. Although I do believe it's only one hit away from um, from get getting put out. Because uh, it hit an enemy a few times, so we'll maybe see about that. But yeah, we can pop in here. Ah ha ha ha. Enchanté. I kind of forgot that we that we pay for shops now. So, this could be a rare opportunity for us to do some interesting stuff. Um, I don't think anything in here is of any value to any human. But, we did get a charge, which is really nice. Um, we'll definitely pop the prayer card here. Um, and, I, I'm, I'm tempted by Mum's purse. For two hearts, it's not the greatest deal. 50% chance for a random syringe. That actually makes me much more happy about my purchase. But I was kind of like, yeah, w whatever. Do you know what? Let's just throw in a reroll and just see if we get anything else that's worth a single heart. Um, we did get Red Candle and Buddy in a Box. I don't think Red Candle's that valuable to us. Buddy in a Box is potential, but I'm going to just leave it there and we'll, we'll head on our way. I'm pretty happy, even for two hearts, I'm pretty happy with Mum's Purse here. Because um, we're going to get another heart going down to the next floor. Had we not been able to prop pop prayer card i would have been a little more apprehensive about that but the fact that we were able to pop it puts uh, puts me in a good mood but yeah as i was saying before i got rudely interrupted by my own brain um which seems to happen a lot when i do these videos do you know right now i'm doing like i mean i'm even doing it while i'm saying this i'm doing like hand gestures like do you know like when you're emphasizing something that you're saying you, i'm doing hand gestures like there's no one here there's no camera on me what am i doing but I'm just in a good mood. For one, I am sufficiently caffeined, as you can probably already tell. I, I imagine it's, at this point, quite obvious when I'm caffeined. Um, but also, I just had, like, one of the best lunches of my life. Ooh, deep pockets. Nice. And, even better, it was of my own creation. I'll definitely do that. Very happy with the result there. Got a health down. Not the best, but it's kind of good to know it exists. Um, the fact that we got the soul hearts makes me not so worried about the health down. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I just had an absolutely incredible lunch, and the best thing of it is I fucking made it. Like, do you know how good it feels to make food that you love? <laughs> to, like, make a meal and it come out exactly how you wanted it to. I made, um, a club sandwich, which is bacon, chicken, lettuce, um, and mayo, and then I also added an egg on there as well, and oh my god... It was so good. <laughs> I like fried off because I, I. So I'm really into cooking. I'm, I'm sure many of you have heard me say it before, but I'm really into cooking. And for uh, Christmas, my girlfriend got me a really nice cast iron skillet, which is something I've been wanting for a while. That may sound like a really stupid present, but for me, I was just well on board. Do you know what? Empty vessel is great for us here. Um, I was well on board for it. I was like, oh hell yeah. Um, and and then because she bought me that. I um I got myself a another another cast iron thing. I got myself a cast iron. They're called bacon weights, not specifically for bacon, but they're called bacon weights. Basically, it's just a big hunk of cast iron metal that you sit on top of meat or a bit really anything to um ooh, invincibility is so good here because our uh, wisps can't die. Um, it's basically just a big hunk of metal that you put on top of anything you're cooking to um. This is a really overpowered room, by the way. Um. Please hope we get a red key here. Ah, oh, what a shame. It's okay, it's okay. Um, yeah, and it, it essentially helps to more evenly cook things because they're flattened down. So I did the, I like salt and peppered the chicken and I did that. Ooh, I should at least attempt this. Nah, sadly not. Um, yeah, so I, um... I put that, I, I salt and peppered the chicken and I put that on it and it, it just cooked so nice. And then you put it in the oven for a little bit and it came out really good. Oh, nice. Invincibility is so good while we have these wisps. We can deal a lot of extra damage with them. In fact, it's an insane amount of extra damage. I was like, how are these not dead? But I realized we can't actually reach them. Oh, I forgot we have duality as well here. Just remember whatever we, whatever we do here, it's going to cost HP. We do have HP to take a deal. I'm more inclined to take an angel deal at the minute, I think. Yeah, okay. This is kind of why. Because 
we can crack this bad boy and hopefully not die. Um, I think we get invincibility every 40 seconds. Is it every 40 seconds or is it every 80? I think it might be every 80. Ooh, I lost my holy mantle. Oh, wait, I've got two holy mantles for some reason. I know that you get a holy mantle as my stemmer upon walking into... Um, Upon walking into the angel dealer. I, this guy is, like, up my ass. He's going to make me accidentally take uh, Lazrags, isn't he? But if we can actually efficiently kill this guy, which honestly is kind of debatable right now. This is taking quite a long time. Um, and unfortunately, none of our Letterman Get and Wisps are actually doing anything for us item-wise. Obviously, they're good for contact damage. There's one of them gone. It was extra revision as well, wasn't it? Nah, I was really hoping to keep that to the next floor. Come on, dude. This is taking forever. How much damage do we have? Just an absurdly low amount, apparently. Dude, get out of my face. This is absurd how long this is taking. <laughs> okay. This should kill him. I'm hoping. Oh my. This actually isn't going to kill him. I, I genuinely can't believe how long. Th this, this, was, this was an idea that I had that has just gone extra. Dude, this little baby angel. Show it up, dude. I was having a good day until you can't turn up, you little sh Go away, little shyster. Oh, I'm mean, so frustrated right now. This is... Stop firing so fast, you little shits. I had a great idea, and it's just all been ruined. So, there's two things that I've got in mind here. One is kill this big boy, eventually, once it's once the fucking moon has passed. Use a red rune to get ourselves one of these bad boys, you see. And then it pops us a charge so we can use Lemmageddon in this room. And we got an angel deal item. We got the sensor. God damn. That was convoluted as shit, but we got there. Holy hell. Those little baby angels. I want to choke them. And I understand how strange that sounds considering within the game they are literal children or babies. But I still want to do it. Given the opportunity... I would. Goddamn, we need more damage desperately. I didn't realize how like how much we were struggling for damage. Um, one thing obviously that's going to be a slight pain to us is empty vessel is not going to be easy to keep alive because we're constantly going to be gaining red hearts from the prayer card. But we are all also constantly going to be trading hearts away. So in that regard, it does make things a little easier. I think we got have we got curse of creation on right now. We're, yes, we do. I love these new curses. Add a lot to the game. It's really nice. Right. We want to be trading away a heart no matter what here. And that is a worthy trade, my dude. Hell yes. And also getting this is really, really useful as well. Yeah, we just got the red um, the red skull. Which, if I remember correctly, the way that this works is... After a devil deal, we get to go down a red trapdoor. And within the red trapdoor, we, um, we can get red room items. I don't know if they'll end up costing us, but we'll find out. What the hell's this? Marks a random enemy in the room that takes double damage. Uh, when the enemy dies, another one is marked. Pretty good. I'm not going to take it for now. I wanna... Basically, I'm rolling until I get something that gives me HP. <laughs> we got a trinket here. Uh, the Sacred Assistant. It gives us extra speed, tears, damage, and luck. Every time you get hit, you lose 25% of the buff. Self-damage sources won't lower the buff. I think that's worth it. I think that's a very good trinket. We get a pretty huge statistical buff here. In fact, let's drop it and see exactly what sort of buff we're getting. So, we are getting... Yeah, that's that's that's, that's very good. Uh, obviously, we have to not get hit for it to be worth anything to us. So, maybe not the best, but I'll take it as it is. Um, and we're an empty vessel now as well, which gives us a little more leeway in uh, just playing well in general. Prayer card can be popped. Nice, nice. Ooh, in fact. Ah, oh, wait. No. I was going to say, because we fly on the way in anyways. We need to have it on the way out, which, unless it's a combat room, we can't get. So, hey ho. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how Red Crown ends up working out for us. If, if it costs to get the red item, it's not going to be that good. If it doesn't cost, though, we are in the money. I think Broken Syringe is really popping off for us right now as well, actually. But yeah, we need to kind of go as long as we can without getting hit. Just remember, it's going to take us four hits before it compl becomes completely useless. So, uh, not all that bad. Fanny pack is unfortunate. But, as I've said before, if we're in um, if we're in the empty vessel state, 
it doesn't matter what the wisp is, it's valuable to us because we can get uh, invincibility and walk into enemies. Okay, it doesn't work. I was going to say, does invincibility let you play those? But I think it's just because we don't have any red hearts and it can only take red hearts. Is more the uh, more the concern of that chest. I really like having this little key wisp here. Good stuff. I really should have taken the other red rune, by the way. I realized I left one in that room stupidly. Would have been a very good idea to uh, to get that and take it with us. But hey, her, you know me, stupid as always. I make her the mistaker. Uh, so there's our red door. Ooh, visual for that is much better. Before it was just a trap door that was colored red. So they've actually uh, made a unique visual for that now. So I like that. Uh, so we'll take this. That's not very good. Unfortunately, we are going to lose Empty Vessel upon entering this fight. But it's not a particularly hard fight. Unfortunately, this would have been a much easier fight if we had flight. But we don't. Uh, so basically, my idea right now is take on the fight at the other side of the room. Don't ever kill one of these blob dudes. One of the, the nubbins at our side of the room, as you can see. This made everything significantly easier. Now, we got two items here, which I'm unsure why, but I am not going to dispute at all. So, um, oh, that was a choice, was it? Probably would have rather had Blood Puppy, but do you know what? Hypercoagulation actually isn't that bad. Um, that's a really cool visual for that. Now, one thing I do want to check, actually, is if I walk into this bad boy... I thought I had hypercoagulation. Fanny Pack's helping me out anyways. What? Maybe the way that this thing damages you doesn't trigger hypercoagulation for some reason. Um, do you know what? There you go, though. Okay, we, 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 we got some poops out there. We, of course, got the child's heart again. Sadly, we already had that, so not so good for us, but... We came out of that smelling like roses, really. Um, so let's just uh, pop on down to the next floor. Ooh, we'll definitely want to fill up. This does make Empty Vessel much, much harder to proc, but I think, honestly, Empty Vessel's kind of like a stopgap for us, really. It's not going to be the main focus, basically, ever. What instead is going to be the main focus, really, is um, having HP to trade away. We'll get Empty Vessel to, to, to proc and to be active after we spend our HP. But we first of all need the HP to spend, so I do not mind. With that, I do not mind. Uh, stop dumping all over the floor, please. I'm really liking sensor. It's going to be hard to uh, hard to get over. Fast bombs is unfortunately completely useless because not only is it just a generally not very good item, but the one main benefit of it, giving you seven bombs upon pickup, doesn't apply as a wisp. So again, this is just kind of. Um, this is just kind of fodder for whenever we em enter Empty Vessel, because otherwise it's, it's just not very good. Really not a fan of these rooms that use the uh, Ipecac Grimaces to um, to be sort of their main gimmick. I don't think these are uh, that good, but to each their own, I guess. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, open up the one area in which the uh, end of room drop was placed, which is annoying. I maybe could have tempted the Ipecac thing into blowing up that Fool's Gold Rock as well, but hey her. But yeah, I, I'm absolutely loving Mastemma. I think I think Mastemma and Tainted Mastemma are some of my favourite characters in the game. Um, which is saying something, considering they're modded. Ooh, we got the good room. Now, I might get hit here. I'm really hoping I don't. Gotta remember that getting hit isn't just about health anymore. We lose stats if we get hit. But the double luck penny here is incredible. Um, Item-wise, obviously, we don't really care about whatever we got here. I would like a bomb at some point, just so I can um, take advantage of this shop and, and blow up the donation machine to uh, play our... We'll definitely be taking that. Definitely be taking that. Uh, and also, this is a crawl space, right? That it is. It places in the wrong place, which is strange. Uh, but we did get sad bombs out of it, which will actually give us some bombs now. So now I can go and blow this up. I'm really, really happy to have... Um have piercing now and a bit of a damage up as well but yeah what i'm gonna do is place this here that's a big boy uh we get quite a lot of money from this again i do need to fill my donation machine if i realize i'm abusing the hell out of it but the main reason for me doing this is so that i can pop on over here first of all let's blow up our uh, stone chest here and pop on over this way a lot of good stuff there uh go over to my arcade here we can play the hell out of this dude 
try and get a drop from him. And if, yeah, I'm going to say if it's something we don't want, like this, then we can re-roll it into potentially something we do want. Like 8-inch nails. That's a huge damage up. <laughs> Piercing with knockback and especially with a 9-inch nails knockback that's pretty high. Gotta say, I quite like it. You got bum friend involved. Bum friend's not all that bad. But yeah, we, we've now got very, very good damage for the floor that we're on. This, like, everything on this floor culminated into a lot of good for us. Um, We do still have a lot of bombs. I do think we should play up the, um, the mushrooms a little bit here. Just, 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 just to try our luck. Unfortunately, we don't get anything good here. Again, this room is another one that I'm like, I, I'm not a big fan of. It just, it's just kind of awkward. Like, just everything about this is just a pain in the ass. Especially with Sensor when the, the shots are so much slower. Oh, come on, dude. There you go. Absolute pain, but we did it. I will take a Rotten Heart, yeah. With the amount of damage we're dealing with flies right now, I think a Rotten Heart's pretty damn good for us. Pop this pill, why not? We'll make our way down to wherever the boss room is. But yeah, I think we're in a really good place right now. I think we've got a lot of good stuff going for us. That was dumb. To be fair, it, it was dumb, but it is also just bad room design to have a barrel that close to the door. I'm pretty sure this is a vanilla room as well. I don't think this is modded. Unless I've just had the mod on that long that I feel like it's modded now. But anyways, we lost some stats there. Of course, we didn't lose a ton, but we lost definitely... Oh, <laughs> the trinket's almost gone. These enemies tricked me out a lot. I don't know if it was the, um, the, the aura slowing it down that tricked me or, or what, but... Yeah, one thing I'm really noticing right now is the speed loss. Like, the damage loss is kind of whatever. Tears loss is also kind of whatever with the current setup we've got going on. Ooh, Dark Matter, very nice. But, the speed. Oof, I feel the speed. Chariot. Do you know what? Chariot's a pretty decent one. We've got all these wisps going on with us. Yeah, I really, I'm really not a big fan of these enemies at all. And honestly... This slowing effect from on these Ipecac dudes is horrendous. It's really bad. Really affecting us poorly. Ooh, secret room there. Hello. Now, now all we really need is Spectral. Spectral would make this infinitely better, but otherwise, we got some good stuff going on now. Go back to the secret room over there. We're getting a lot of chest drops as well, but then again, we are at 4.5 luck, uh, which is pretty darn high. I'll pop that down there, see if we get anything. Sadly not. I want to do all the rooms I can here because we're just looking for charges. These rooms are reasonably easy for us, honestly. So, being able to get an Eternal Heart ready for the next floor. I realize I lost two Eternal Hearts on this floor from just my own stupidity, but there you go. That is the way of the world sometimes. So yeah, we're going to pop the Chariot here. This is going to just annihilate this guy. Yep. Uh, we get this, which is unfortunately almost worthless. Even if it gave us all golden coins. Maybe I should have let Bum Friend have all of that. Um, but then we got this, which, if it gives us a choice between two again, which I don't know why it did last time, but if it does, I'll be very happy. Especially considering red items have the chance to drop us stuff like Sacred Heart. We can get some really good stuff. I mean, we saw last episode some of the items that can be in a red room pool, because we got all of them. So, I think, I honestly, I think, for, for one, Kamikaze is just not very good for us. But I think Horror Babylon is, Sharp looks kind of interesting. Um... Horror Babylon's another one where it's kind of like Empty Vessel. We kind of, we can play into it a little bit here. Now, we've we've not really got to the point where we have too much HP um, at the minute. I'm, if I ever do get to the point where I've got quite a lot of HP, I'm, I'm going to go to the Devil Deal and try and uh, pay out Sanguine Bond a little bit. Uh, I think Sanguine Bond is just an immensely fun item now. Like, I used to hate it. I used to, I mean, it, it did used to just be bad. That's probably why I hated it. But it was one of those items where it was like, it was circumstantial anyways, because you had to be going to Devil Deals. Or if you had it, it kind of forced you to go to Devil Deals. Then it costed a good amount of health for potentially quite low benefits. But now you can get like a good few damage ups, maybe an item or two. And it, it, gen it genuinely is a very, very, um, I want to say it's a strong item because it costs you HP. And it is still particularly circumstantial. But it's in a position now where 
if you get it, it before you'd get it, and if you weren't already going devil deals, you're just like, okay, this item does nothing. But now, if I get it, it kind of makes me want to go to devil deals because I now have more of a reason to go to them. Also, something really cool, when um when I was talking to Kilburn in the little interview, well, just after actually, it wasn't during the interview, did I just accidentally use sharp plug? I think I did, didn't I? Um, whoops. Um, Midas Touch, okay. Midas Touch is maybe interesting if we get some invincibility going on. Uh, but yes, um, we were kind of talking to him just generally, like, after the, uh, after the, the call, after the interview. Um, and I was just kind of uh, talking to him generally, and one of the things he was saying is about, like, how he needs to find a, a way to make Devil Deals a little better, because they're still a little underpowered. And I suggested the the way that I made the mod that I made that I made which for those of you that don't know I made a mod that um makes it so that devil deals are the guaranteed two items available I'm, I'm, I'm not using it at the minute because I think it's out of date I need to update it uh but essentially that's that's the gist it um it makes it so that devil deals always contain a minimum of two items and my reasoning was that um devil deals are special not because of their item pool compared to, um, oopsie. Not compared to the item pool, really, but more so because um, in a devil deal, if there's three items and you have the health to take all three, you can take all three. But um, in an angel deal, if there's ten items, you can only ever take one. And I think that's special with devil deals because it adds an associated extra risk. Um, oopsie. Yeah, it's an associated extra risk because the, you're you're taking on that risk of lowering your health by a lot more to gain a lot more benefit and thus putting yourself in harm's way. But it's interesting because it's it's a bit more um, risky. So I, I just simply suggested pretty much leave the item pool as it is. You can maybe tweak a few things, but the item pool for the most part is fine. Um, well, this was an interesting room. Um, four items here, which is pretty good. Um... Yeah, I, I said, like, for the most part, you can keep the item pool as it is. Maybe a few tweaks here and there, but otherwise it's looking pretty good. Um, but just make it so that the item rooms always contain at least two Devil Deal items. And he said he wrote the idea down and is considering it. Like, he he, he really... Like, he, he obviously hasn't made a full decision on it yet. He can't commit to it. But he said he really likes that idea of a balance change. He, he very much... Um, he very much liked the idea of, of, of that as a way to balance it. Ooh, I the occult, hell yes. Uh, which I was super happy to hear. That's really cool. Really cool. We also actually got him to patch something mid-episode, which was really funny. Uh, while we were recording the podcast, we asked him, like, a few trivia questions about the game towards the end. And one of them was, which of these familiars isn't part of Conjoined? Because there's one of them that clearly should be and isn't. Um, and... Yeah, we uh, we said to him, yeah, which which one of these should be in it and it isn't. I think it was Little Loki. And he actually went in, like, during the call, went on, um, went into the code and fixed it there and then. Ooh, Eucharist is like a banging item, but it's risky as hell to take. Yeah, let's take it. Um, yeah, so that, that was super awesome. Right. So now we've got to be a little careful. Um, the boss itself shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we've got great damage and just everything about our build is pretty great right now. Uh, so I don't think we'll have any problem actually fighting the boss itself. I am going to do this real quick. Mainly to make my traversal a little easier. That was a bad, bad, bad hit. Um, mainly to make my traversal a little easier, but also for a random chance at a soul heart. Honestly, same here as well. I know it's, uh, they're quite spread apart, so... We have to use a lot of bombs, but I think it's worth it. Justice. That, I very nearly killed myself then. I accidentally used prayer card. Um, although... You know what? That worked out. I accidentally used prayer card with sharp plug. Okay. Got our angel deal and devil deal here. Angel deal's definitely more appealing to me right now. 
Unfortunately, I was wrong in assess in that assessment. Enemies become more aggressive, spawn extra rewards for room for room clears. There you go. We'll take that. And then we'll pop. Oh, I did it again! Ah! I keep I see Lemmageddon and I instantly think, right. Um I instantly think, right then, let's uh let's pop. Oh my god, that's so bad. Why do we get this room again? Immaculate Heart? Hell yes. I'm stupid. I just keep accidentally using, um... I don't really want to do anything with this room. Although, let's get a charge at least. Whoa! That killed him instantly. I wasn't expecting that. Right, now we can pop it. Stop accidentally pressing Q. When you see Lemma get in, you just instinctively think it's a pocket item. And you press Q to use it. But it's not. It's not a pocket item. Dumbass. There's a lot of Lemmageddon with. So I, have, I haven't really been paying attention to what Lemmageddon's been giving us. I'll be honest. There's obviously a few clear ones in there like Dark, like dark Matter and Flatstone and stuff like that. But a lot of other stuff I just don't even know. But Lem Lemmageddon's one of those items that's got a lot more uses than the actual items it gives you. Like, if, as I already said, you got that extra bonus contact damage for if you get invincibility, which is awesome. I think we just got Tiny Planet, didn't we? Um, wait, I didn't pop it. How did I get Tiny Planet? What the hell? Oh, it's Immaculate Heart. Dumbass. Um, but, on top of that, it's defensively strong, too. Also, this this extra, um, extra room stuff is good. Papilla Duplex... Oh, it does actually make these larger. Nice. I, I was expecting it to not work. Right. More of the Void is a very good item. I quite like More of the Void. Panic Button... Panic Button doesn't really work with either of our actives. Panic Button's one of those ones that I really want to get a, a flagship run with. I really want to have a run where it's obscene, obscenely good. But it ain't so easy to do. Do have a Tinted Rock here. This is a crazy run right now. Mainly because of um, these just absolutely ginormous scythes. And also, like, for one, I've just not been hit much, which is really nice. But also, I'm just getting a lot of good drops. I'm getting a lot of HP and stuff. Samson's Chain. Then comes the trash. Samson's Chain is, is one of my most highly despised items. Head back to the shop. Oh, it always kind of weirds me out a little bit when, um, when your shop isn't close to the boss. Also, this is going to be kind of interesting. Oh, what? Oh. I forgot we had Midas' touch. This is incredible. I mean, it's kind of sad because I literally don't need any of this money. But <laughs> I forgot about this. <sighs> what a shame. We got like literally no use for any of this money. We were at 99 cent already. I guess I'll leave that there for now. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I completely forgot I had Midas' touch with a with a gut, with a thingy um, horse pill relaxes. Muy bien, very spicy. That's a synergy that I was not expecting to see, and was very pleasantly surprised at. I actually can't believe the power of this trinket. Enemies are more aggressive. It doesn't matter if they're more aggressive if they literally die the moment we enter the room. <laughs> Rainbow Heart there. I got the quarter. Thanks. That's one I needed. Okay. So first of all, let's check down here. Nothing there I want. So we're going to re-roll this. I'm probably going to spend like all my HP here, I think. Sackhead is not quite what I'm looking for, I don't think. Black Candle's real good. We'll take that. Now, restock is interesting. I will take restock. 
A blanket's pretty good. Gives plus one soul heart. So it technically it only costs two soul hearts, but. Hive mind is potentially good. This is great. Just the reverse tower, but there you go. PhD soul convert is kind of an interesting one. Potentially. Unfortunately, we lose it all. Now. Would I be so bold as to smelt both of these? Why, yes. Yes, I would. I think 15 cent for two extra trinket spots is pretty heckin' good. And we can grab this. Obviously, our health now is in a pretty dire position, but I don't think we're really at risk of losing the run, especially when we get one of these that has a, uh, a soul heart in it for us. I have to be very deliberate about my my, my button presses now. See, th these ghost chests have just re like revived us completely. I guess I'll take Charles' leash. Because they can drop between half and two soul hearts. And that they did, so we have been revived. Right, down we go. Hello. Look how many rewards we're getting from rooms. Ooh, baby. Okay, so that's good. I definitely think we should take that. Especially considering, I just want to say, one of these will be gold. I don't know if it happens every time, but when you get a reflected trinket, you almost always get a golden version when you uh, walk into the reflected one. Which, with this current setup, with the tears of it just gave us, this is premium nutty. <laughs> I, I, I actually can't believe how crazy this is. Th this room was just, just an absolute bonanza. There's so much money in there with, sadly, nothing to do with it. There is, the, the map tells me there's a luck penny here. Now, this is like a, a where's Wally. Can you spot the lucky penny? I can. I've found it. I have found the lucky penny. Can you spot the lucky penny? I'm seeing if there's any more, because there could possibly be more. I don't think there is. I think it's just the one. Can you spot the lucky penny? That's right. It is this one right here. Now we just check the map again. It says there's still a look. It says there's two lucky pennies in here, actually. Okay. This is like a. This is like the championship of Where's Wally. Okay, I see one more. Another one is right here. Where's our third? Where's our third? Now, I do wonder if it's that reflected one, because that would be interesting. Do we see another? I'm having a, a hard time seeing it so far. I've got to check this now. The, reflect, the reflected ones, just in case it is them. It's not. Right, let's just collect everything then. I can't, I, I can't see the last one. I need to get the timer to go away as well. There you go. Hey, we got it. We got it. I think that's everything. That's all, folks. Up to 9.5 luck. You know how it is. Also, let's take this instead of Charles' leash. Hello. We did get our red door. Go through here first. Eh, we're getting some really sort of unfortunately kind of trashy items here. And we go pop that. Black heart, god damn. This run is bananas. We're going to land, aren't we? Yes, we are. We've got great luck, so I think the apple is um, pretty hell, hell, pretty heckin' amazing here. Right, and we carry on. We keep her going. God diggity damn. 
This has been some spicy, spicy runs. We've been just having some really powerful runs. I will say, um, obviously, those of you that have been watching the modded series, one of the biggest reasons that I, I, well, a few of the biggest reasons I enjoy playing this game is for one, I just like the game. It's very good. For two, this game's a really good platform for just talking and chatting shit, which is just great for my type of content. Um, but, ooh, 2020, boy. Uh, but mainly... We play it to showcase mods and see see modded stuff because that's always fun. Now I will say that the sort of the reason I was sort of started this sentence here, modded runs are a, the power is a bit skewed, the mod balance is a bit crazy, um, but at the same time there ain't really much that can be done about that. Because <laughs> the, the thing is, at the end of the day. The most fun items to find and to make are the strongest items in the game, like the strong ones. So there's always going to be a high, a high capacity of good items to bad items. You're always going to find more good items in a mod than you are bad items. That's just a, that's just a fact. Um, it is a little bit of a shame that that like the runs trend so heavily, um, like so so heavily in the in the way of overpowered like obviously we have died on runs it does happen it does happen and it doesn't even happen that rarely but if i was playing sensibly and playing for the win you could get some crazy high streaks in modding if you if you learn sort of the what the things that can kill you and the things not to do you're then in a position to just go absolutely wild go absolutely crazy and just yeah, I I definitely think if I if I played modded a little more cautiously, I could pretty easily achieve a 100 streak. I think as long as as long as a glitch or bug doesn't kill me, I I, I think it is reasonable to say that I could achieve. I definitely think I'm 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 capable of reaching a 100 streak in vanilla as well. Personally, I know that's maybe a bit big-headed, but. I do personally think I'm able to achieve, um, especially if it was like an Eden streak or whatever. Um, I think I'm definitely uh, of the ability to, to achieve um, a 100 streak. I've just never really been, I've never been the sort of person that goes hard on streaking. Um, mainly because the way that I, for, for one, I, I don't like, I'm not very min-maxi, which means that Sometimes I will play a little too fast and that'll get me killed, which again, I don't really care about. Um, or on top of that, oh, damn, so many chests. On top of that, um, we got a reverse card here as well. Unfortunately, not a good one. Um, I just, I, I like taking too many bad items. <laughs> too many items that are detrimental to my run or potentially detrimental. I'll always take them. And I make mistakes all the time because I play like an idiot, but it's, it's how I have fun. And I, I, I hope... At least it's something that maybe sets me apart from some other creators. Uh, I think obviously the biggest thing that sets me apart from other creators is the modded content that I make. I know there is other people doing modded um, modded Isaac content uh, in terms of videos. I mean, Alex, Alex has just started his streak that's um, going pretty well so far. His first episode was really good. Uh, but I mean, like, I'm a bit more involved in the actual modding scene myself. Like, I've made my own mods. I speak to the modders regularly, that sort of stuff. Um... But, hey her, it is what it is. I think I could get the streak, but I've never been the sort of player to, to want to play the way that you've got to play in order to get streaks like that. Um, give me that. I'll take you instead of the flat boy. Ah, oh, we've already been in here. Fight right, our red room. God damn. We shall take this. We now got full razors as well. We've got perma razors. As long as we can keep perfection alive. Adam, oh, there's a rainbow worm there as well. At this point, we can skip most of the items that are coming our way. Most of the chests, should I say. I, I don't want to skip items, but most of the chests, at least. We are in a pretty obscene state of power. And consumables, too. We don't even really even need those.
I'll take that. Why not? Um, it's going to be a little hard to walk directly into... Hmm. I seemingly... Why can't I walk into this? The placement in this room seems a little bit bad. I don't know if there's a reason why I can't walk in there, but I can't, so... No red floor for this for us this time around. I do think there's, um... Those Red King boss fights need to be more difficult. Um, in ma mainly the way that I do it is just make all of them double trouble. Just just make them into double trouble um, boss fights, where it's like a bigger room, but you fight multiple bosses, um, and it doesn't matter what floor you're on, they're as hard as they are, sort of thing. Oh, God, fuck off. Yeah, I think I think that'd be a good way of uh, of balancing it out a little bit, just because obviously at the minute the items you can get are obscenely powerful, especially if you get a choice. I don't know if you always get a choice, but for some reason I'm getting one. Um, they're obscenely powerful from the red rooms. They're free essentially. All you gotta do is fight a very easy boss for the most part. Obviously, I know I'm really powerful on this run, but I think even in a run that's that's just average it would still be very, very easy to kill the boss and get the item. It should be kind of a toss-up of like, do I want to actually go for this red boss fight? Because it's going to be tough and I probably will get hit a little bit. Um, it's not just going to be an absolute steamroll. Or maybe just make it harder bosses, some of the later game bosses, no matter what floor you're on. Like Matriarch, stuff like that. Um, Sister Viz. And yeah, I'm going to say it should be more of a toss-up, I think. Because at the minute, obviously, I know it's a rare item. You want it to be strong. But it's it, oh, it's just kind of free at the minute, honestly. It's just, it's, it's just free, and over the, depending on what floor you get it on, you're getting at least an item per floor from the point at which you picked it up, and that's pretty strong. In my opinion, that's pretty strong. Yeah, we're no longer on perma razors, sadly, but still, the damage is good. I don't even know where I am right now. I can barely see. I'm legally blind. Oh, wait. We've got that uh, item that... Oh, cool. We've got that item where our tears explode as, as one of our uh, Lemma Gittin Wisps, I think. That's a planetarium item from Ipecac, if I, if I am correct in thinking so. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Unfortunately, none of these are worth taking. Like, genuinely none of them. Um, I think we're in a, in a state where we can easily go for the boss and not be worried, so I'm just going to go for it. Just remember we've got that uh, thingy, because we can do... Not quite. I, I, I missed it there. Unless we unless unless we only had it for that floor for some reason. It seems like we only had it last floor. Is there a reason for that? We have a trinket or item that gives us planetarium items on a, on a loan just for one floor. I might have a different one this floor. I potentially have a lemma getting wisp of an item that grants a random planetarium item each floor. Kind of like the Zodiac does. Oh no, there you go. I don't know why it activated that time, but not before. Maybe I just got to hold it down longer. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely very confused. Oh, what the hell? Hello. Um, is there a reason you're here? I don't think that should be here, right? I didn't think Star of Bethlehem came here. Yeah, God knows why it's activating sometimes and not others. But we have bested this fool. He has been memed upon. And the second phase should be no different. I can't see, but I've got plenty of wisps protecting me, so I don't really mind. Okay, I did get hit finally. I think we got this guy on lockdown. We have lost every one of our wisps. Apart from Fanny Pack. This is one of the things that makes Lemma Gettin so absurd. We got Fanny Pack on, like, the second floor. And we still have it. Oh, we, we did at least. Like, we, we basically had one wisp for the entire run. And people are like, mm -hmm, they nerfed Lemma Gettin. It's like, are you kidding me? It gives you insane defense. Pretty good offense if you have the, the means to, to take advantage of it. And 
You can keep them around forever pretty reliably. Right, there you go. What a good run. Unfortunately, picked my stamina instead of tinted my stamina, but nonetheless, very good. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.